remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The sister of Nathaniel Woods, an innocent man condemned to death and executed by the state of Alabama for a murder that the prosecutors agree he did not commit, confronted the woman who could have saved his life. Pamela Woods caught up with Governor Kay Ivey at the state capitol as she spoke with reporters about the U.S. Census. The governor, to say the least, was shook. Scary. Spooked the hell out of her. Walked right up to her and simply told her, you killed my brother. Don't sound like a lot, but she was shook. She thought old girl might take off on her. Back of my mind, I was wondering, has she taken off on her? How would that have made me feel? I don't think I would have felt bad. So, in case you are not familiar with this case, Nathaniel Woods was an innocent man placed on death row for the 2004 slaying of three police officers in Birmingham, Alabama. The police officers went to his apartment to execute a warrant, a warrant that Nathaniel and others say was invalid. But anyway, they went there, I don't know why it took three, but they went there to execute a misdemeanor warrant. Nathaniel comes out with his hands up, even though he was complying, the cop, one of the cops, hit him with mace. This starts confusion. So one of the guys that was in the house with, with Nathaniel, Kerry Spencer, the trigger man, pulled out his gun and mowed three of them down. Knocked their noodles. R.I.P. So, when they captured Nathaniel, they also captured Kerry. When they charged uh, Kerry, they also charged Nathaniel for murder. Both were convicted and sentenced to death. Now, you say, well, how does something like this happen? The man didn't pull the trigger. They got this trick that they use called felony murder. If you are with someone in the commission of a crime and someone dies, you can also be charged. Now, the thing is that the state could never prove that this man conspired to kill these cops. He said he didn't know that dude was going to start shooting the cops. Kerry Spencer, the shooter, admitted, look, he confessed, look, I did this on my own. Dude didn't know there was no major conspiracy like they're trying to make it seem like this man did not lure the cops in so I could get at him or nothing. And if you think about it, it makes sense because if they were going to do all of that and Nathaniel Woods understands the severity of gunning down police officers, wouldn't he get off on the cops too? Think about it. Knowing that you're going to get in a jam also, it don't make sense to not go all the way out. They put this man on trial, convicted him, and murdered him because they could. And they did it out of spite simply because they had three officers got killed. They went to the house, they say, to execute a warrant, a misdemeanor warrant, mind you. They got three of theirs dead. They want to kill as many as, as they can. And I'm going to tell you something. Ain't no telling how many black males were killed 
in between the time that those cops got killed and the time that Nathaniel was killed and who are probably still catching hell because they wanted revenge. And again, we don't even know why they was there in the first place. Why is three cops going to issue a misdemeanor warrant in the first place? That's usually something reserved for one person. That's it. It don't even make sense. So what were they up to? But getting back to Pamela Woods, I know that you know she probably feels helpless, but I think she did as much as she could probably do besides riding for her brother, advocating for him, fighting for his, his, his freedom, you know, fighting for his life. I can't even imagine somebody doing something like that to mine, just, just killing mine like that, knowing that they're innocent. Oh, hell no. I can't imagine it. Yeah, it couldn't have been me because it would have been more than just a, you killed my brother. Boy, this is, there are some wicked people in this world. I was going to say, how do they sleep at night? But I know how they sleep at night. Hanging upside down. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?